Hey guys, so this is an update on the uh, clip-on prop adapters from Reddit user Read It Again and Again. I think this is version 2, uh, whatnot. And he has made some absolutely phenomenal uh, changes. Before I install them, I'll just go ahead and show you guys here. You essentially have this side that is the prop side and this which is the clip. I actually printed out two extra clips because I'm going to be deliberately crash testing this. And you essentially just I'll show it with a prop. Put a prop on there and then clip it on. And let's see here. It clips down nicely over the prop. It actually has a piece that goes down inside the middle of the prop, you can see there, which holds it really rigid. It doesn't have any of the movement that it had before. And to remove it, obviously, it would be on the uh, on the motor. But you push in the clips and then pull it off evenly, and it falls out just like that. It is a little bit stiff to get off, but that's part of the advantage to it. Installing these is pretty simple. I just dropped my, I believe it's a 5M bolt down in there, a uh, nut down in there, and then uh, it's actually significantly easier than putting a prop on normally because you just thread this on, hold the motor still, thread this on, and that's it. That's the uh, the bolt is threaded all the way in. There's no gap at the bottom, and that's not going to spin off very easily. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest, and then I'll be right back. So with the four uh, adapters clipped on, now I'm going to put my props on. These adapters are for uh, the 5045 uh, or 5x4.5 props. And I'm printing out some 6x4.5 prop adapters right now, which I'll test later. So once you set the prop in, you simply push the clip in and snap it all the way down. The prop has absolutely no leeway. I think this is going to be a phenomenal change over the previous version that I flew, because the last version, the prop could freely wiggle up and down quite a bit, and that caused a lot of slop in the, in the flight path, as well as a ton of noise. But these are completely snug, not going anywhere. And I'm going to... Uh, probably going to try to crash test these a little bit to see how they uh, how resilient they are in terms of crashing and what happens to them when you do crash. So I'm going to go try these out in the field. This is the test flight of these, uh, the latest version of these prop adapters from the Reddit user read it again and again. My battery is pretty low so this is going to be quick. but. Those sound great. There's no slop at all. They sound a little bit different than uh, than regular bolts. As I said, this battery is pretty low, so this will be quick. Try some low altitude flips before the battery dies. These are brilliant. These are absolutely brilliant. I honestly can't tell the difference between flying with these and flying with normal bolts on. I'll be able to get out a video with the uh, six inch props tomorrow and that'll be a lot more exciting than these little props.
This is brilliant. I don't think I have enough battery on this charge to uh, to crash them properly, but. Nothing like doing flips under a tree to get a prop to come off. I'm not very good at crashing this thing. Check back in tomorrow once I get more battery power.